this is Stumpy, and welcome to a Minecraft Let's Play video, and another video inside of Stumpy's uh, lovely world. <laughs> Hello, Lee. <laughs> and in this video, I'm of course going to be joined by Lee Bear, I'm going to also be joined by Squishy, and also for the first time ever, I am going to be joined by Stacy. Hello, Stacy Blaze, and welcome to my lovely world. Hopefully, you can have uh, lots of fun today uh, because we are going to be having a race. But rather than racing in a straight line like this, we're going to be racing directly up because we're going to be racing up the outside of the huge clock tower uh, that we have been building in the, the last few episodes. And thank you for the sand, Lee. That was very nice. <laughs> Making a mess on my nice clean carpet. If you're going to place something down on the carpet, Lee Bear, you might as well place down my breakfast. No, come on, Lee Bear. Cookies are taste. No, no, Lee. Come on. I'm, I'm not here to play your games. I'm here to eat your cake. Nom, 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 Absolutely delicious. Right then, off to the, the love garden then. Off for the uh, beginning video ritual number two. And that is to announce uh, who is... Ooh. Hello, chicken. <laughs> uh, yeah, that is uh, to announce uh, who is the uh, the new person that I'm adding. And oh, hello. Hello, Harry. It seems very busy at the moment. There seems to be people in every room all over the place around here. <laughs> anyway, uh, the person I'm adding now is uh, Katrin. And that is because they sent me this picture of a Stampy Cat pizza that they made. You can see uh, that by using all of the uh, the different toppings, uh, they were able to, to make my face on a pizza. And it looks really cool and really tasty as well. So I wanted to say uh, thank you very much uh, for sending me the uh, picture and welcome to my love garden. Right then now, it's time for the uh, the race uh, to the, the dog house. But seeing as there are four of us today, I thought we could have a, a four player race. So if everyone, if everyone follows me, uh, we're actually... Uh, gonna head up, no, not not into there, Lee. <laughs> we're gonna head up uh, to Harriet's house, and we're gonna be racing from all of the way uh, back here. And that is because we are gonna be racing very fast, because I have a swiftness potion. So I'm gonna splash us all, then we can run really fast, and the first one in the doghouse wins. And you need to run through uh, the the middle of the the heart in the the love garden uh, on your on your way there. So let's all let's all start all of the way back here. Uh, because we're going to be running super duper fast. And then I'm going to throw this up in the, the air and uh, hopefully try and splash all of us. And then, yeah, as soon as we've been splashed, then we can begin the race. So everyone, everyone gathering close. Make sure you get splashed by it. And it's up in the air and splash. There we go. We have all been splashed with swiftness. And now we need to run, run, run and run. And whoa, <laughs> look how fast we are going. Uh, you better watch out, Harriet. We are going to charge straight through you here. <laughs> we're just going to try and get through the, the love heart. Try and jump through. Oh, Squishy. Uh, looks like she was uh, through first. Uh, she's in the, the lead so far. Oh no, but we can't open the gate. Oh no, we've all got stuck in the gate. There we go. We're all punching each other and all sorts. It looks like Lee Bear's got the lead. Oh no, I think Stacy, uh, no, uh, Squashy might be back in the lead, but oh, Lee Bear uh, looks like he's going to get in first. Oh no, he fell down and Squashy was the winner. Well done, Squashy. It was very close between me and Squashy, but I think uh, she was just about ahead of us. But a very, very close race indeed. Uh, but now this means uh, that Squashy uh, gets to choose uh, which dog is going to be joining us uh, in uh, in today's episode. Even though uh, this dog is mainly just going to be uh, a spectator uh, because we're going to be climbing up high, uh, yeah, they can still go and uh, come and join us. And it looks like the uh, the dog she wants to have join us is Benji. So where is Benji? Hello, Benji. You can join us. And I'm also uh, going to grab uh, a few pork chops as well, just in case uh, Benji gets uh, hungry during uh, yeah during the the race. And also, if I get hungry and fancy some pork chops, uh, I can have a, a few myself as well. Right. There we go. I got myself a, a few pork chops. And uh, now uh, let's go and head over to the clock tower. And I also need to show you uh, we've finished it off. Uh, in the, the last episode, oh, everyone stay back. No, stay back from that cake. That is not good cake. <laughs> I don't know why you're pointing the arrow at the cake. The cake isn't the thing that attacked us, Lee. You know, you know, it was someone else that placed the cake there. It wasn't the cake itself that attacked us. <laughs> I like to feel like all cakes are friendly. Some are just misunderstood, maybe. Anyway, look, check this out. Here we go. Here is the almost finished clock tower. It's probably 99.9% .9 finished. There's one more block uh, we need to add, and that is one block of glowstone, uh, which we're going to put on the very top of the tower. And uh, that is what uh, this uh, race is all about. So basically, we're all going to race up the uh, the sides of the uh, the clock tower, and then the uh, the first person uh, to, to make it to the, the top, uh, they go and place down the... Um, 
uh, the the glowstone, and then they uh, are going to be the uh, the winner of the uh, of the the race. So that's uh, how this is going to work. So you can see that there's uh, a little bit of parkour. Uh, there's some ladders. There's some trapdoors, and uh, a few other things at the uh, the top up there, uh, just to make it uh, quite difficult uh, in order to to be able to to climb up. So this is uh, going to be a bit of a, a challenge, uh, but hopefully it will be a uh, a fun one. So uh, Benji, you can sit down here safely, and uh, you can watch us all racing uh, up the the sides, and then everyone else uh, pick a, a side here. Uh, they're all exactly the same so it doesn't matter which one you go for i'm gonna go for this one here because i got some uh, lovely green wool to, to jump up and uh, yeah it looks like uh, everyone's ready and in position as a first person to the top places down the glowstone and then they are the winner right we can begin in three a two a one and go 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 let the uh, clock climb race begin and so not only uh, is the the winner uh, getting the the pride of uh, winning the race? Uh, they're also uh, going to be the employee of the the month uh, for both the uh, the TikTok shop and the uh, the tea time shop, uh, which is at the the very top of the the tower. So uh, they're going to be the employee of the uh, the month uh, for two different places. So this is a a prize that everyone is definitely going to to want to get, but it's going to be difficult to get. You know that I'm not the uh, the best at parkour, so I'm assuming uh, that I'm not going to to win, uh, but I'm definitely going to try my very hard. Hardest. And uh, uh, some of these jumps are a little bit tricky. You kind of need to, to jump out and then crouch and then jump back on. And uh, I've actually designed it uh, so that this is the uh, the hardest part of the the race. So uh, the ladders uh, is probably the the most difficult bit, uh, just because I thought that if the uh, uh, the ladders were higher up and then everyone kept failing and they fell the uh, fall the entire way down, <laughs> then yeah, then that might be a, a little bit painful. So uh, it does get easier uh, the higher you get up, uh, but we do need uh, to try and get past this uh, this first section first. So. Uh, uh, this jump here is really hard because uh, you can see there's a kind of a, a bit of an indent. Uh, so if you get stuck there, uh, you kind of just uh, slide down uh, the uh, the entire middle. Uh, but the way the uh, the ladders are, and it's basically the uh, the same jumping challenge uh, three times repeated. Uh, so basically, uh, you have to try and make these jumps here, and then once you uh, get back to the the middle, uh, you do the same uh, going to the the other side, and then one more time, and uh, then you get to the the next section. But so far, I seem to be doing absolutely rubbish. But don't worry, uh, that's exactly just as well as I expected uh, to do. How's everyone else doing? Uh, looks like um, uh, looks like everyone else isn't too much higher than me. Looks like Stacy's down there uh, trying to get up the the fences. A lot of people are crouch which makes it um uh, quite difficult uh, to to see where they are lee bears quite high, high up actually uh, he's slightly higher up than me and i know he's uh, normally uh, quite good at doing some of these uh, these challenges and uh, he loves to be the uh, the employee of the month uh, so i know he's going to be trying really really hard but then again uh, we're all trying really really hard it's just <laughs> some of us are, are failing more than others right come on let's concentrate let's let's do this i know i can do this so i can get past these ones and uh, once i know i've done it once and got past one section uh, all i need to do was I uh, repeat it for the the other go so uh, this is actually a little bit of a tricky one here I've got to jump around like that and oh was just about I was clawing onto the the side of the the building with my claws there <laughs> but I was just about able to to stay on and here we go this is a higher than I've ever got before and oh once again just about able to to stay on and now I need to make my way back to the middle this was very good and now it's this kind of tricky jump again oh that was good though I was able to to stay on oh look look how close I am to the the trap doors it's just a a few more of these uh, ladder jumps and then I'm going to be up, but no! <laughs> Luckily though, uh, even though I fell, uh, I didn't fall the, the entire way down. So all I need to do is uh, try and get back here and I'll be able to, to carry on uh, from where I left off. That was bad, but it could have been uh, much worse than it was. Right, let's try and jump to here. There we go, that was good. And back to this bit, don't fail this time. And oh, once again, just about clawing on. And now I need to jump up to here and I'm getting really nervous now. Look how high up I am. This is uh, a little bit scary. There's a nice view, uh, but I suppose I should shouldn't really be taking time admiring the view uh, when I have a, a race to, to try and win, right? This is good. Only a few more jumps and then I've got to the, the trap doors. I've got to be really careful here. I am genuinely uh, very nervous, right? Let's try and jump to here. There we go. That was good. And here we go. I am on to the, the trap doors. So this uh, should hopefully be a little... Ooh, ooh, steady. No, 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 no. Oh no, I got to the trapdoors, but I failed. Right, okay, I didn't fall the uh, the entire way down there. I can see Squishy just came to, to say hello after I screamed. <laughs> I'm okay, Squishy, I'm okay. I landed on a ladder. I didn't fall the, the entire way down. Right, let's go and uh, try and do this again. So yeah, it's not too bad. I'm at least uh, halfway up the, the ladders again. Uh, so I just need to try and get to that point again. I think the trapdoors bit 
It probably won't be too hard. It's just getting onto that first trap door is a little bit difficult. But oh no, all the way back down to the, the beginning. This is not good at all. But luckily, it looks like uh, everyone else is kind of in the, the same position as me. So uh, even though it would have been good uh, to get to that section first, uh, at least uh, no one else is uh, way ahead of me. I still have uh, as much chance as uh, everyone else uh, to, to be able to, to win this uh, this clock climb. And oh no, I am not going to be doing it <laughs> by, uh, by jumping like that. Right, I think I'm trying to rush a little bit too much. I think after that fail, uh, I don't want to try and go too quickly. I want to try and do it slow and steady and uh, make sure I, uh, I stay safe as well. You can see that my uh, my hearts are a little bit low here. And uh, if I die, I'm going to be all the way uh, back down to the, the beginning. We did uh, uh, set our spawns on those beds. Uh, so at least I'm not going to go back to my bedroom. But uh, yeah, it means I'm going to have to start from the, the very bottom again. So it'd be good to, uh, to try and stay healthy. Uh, I can probably do these uh, easy jumps here. Try and get to this next one. Oh, there we go. I was able to get straight on to, to that one. And these ones aren't generally too hard. This is the one I sometimes struggle with for some reason. Yeah, there's just that one in the, the middle I found uh, I find a little bit difficult. I don't know why, because like, it's pretty much uh, the same as this one here, but I can generally do this one, uh, but that one in the, the middle I really have trouble with. And oh no! <laughs> Looks like uh, Squashy had a, a little bit of a, a tumble. I thought she'd be good at this. Uh, she actually spends a lot of her time trying to, to practice flying. You know you uh, often see her landing on my balcony. That's because she's uh, always out there every morning uh, trying to learn how to to fly from my roof and she's not been able to yet uh, but who knows maybe this is going to be the uh, the lucky day uh, where she's going to actually be uh, able to, to fly. All right, once again, I want to try and make sure I uh, I take this slow. I think I'm trying to go a little bit too quick. Uh, Lee Bear seems to be doing very well. Every other time I look up, uh, he seems to be very high up. So I want to try and make sure uh, that I get to the uh, the trap door section at least at the uh, the same time as him. Uh, if not, uh, a little bit more uh, would be even better because uh, after we get past the trap door, uh, there's going to be a difficult section uh, where you get a, a bucket of water out from a, a chest that's up there and uh, you need to use the water uh, to climb up or you basically just place it in front of you then you've got to keep swimming up and uh, you also need to get up that bit there you see the uh, the way the the clock kind of pokes out a little bit uh, you need to kind of go uh, across the uh, the ceiling on that section there uh, which is probably uh, going to be quite difficult and I've actually uh, got it harder on my side because the uh, the way the the clock face kind of pokes out a little bit uh, it's actually going to be uh, more difficult for for me to get up there uh, than it is going to be for everyone else on the the other sides but it doesn't matter uh, I chose uh, to pick this side so I guess it's uh, uh, my own fault I'm doing quite well here though. Uh, I just need to try and land on this one and here we go. This is uh, kind of getting back to, to where I was before uh, when I did quite well on that other go. So now I just need to try and uh, stay consistent and whoop <laughs> and uh, keep going up. This is the one I struggle with but nope. I was able to, to just about make it and now onto this one. Oh I nearly jumped too far then. That's the worst and here we go. This is good. I'm getting very close uh, to these uh, these trap doors again. They're right in front of me. I got a bit of a, a scary jump here. I want to make sure I make it. I'm going to get my hunger completely up uh, so then my health will go up in case I fail and oh no no I did fail but only just I only slightly fell down this is okay at least I didn't fall uh, the entire way back down I can go up here and uh, have another attempt uh, to try and make it uh, across and where's Lee Bear I can't see him I think he's crouched on the uh, the other side somewhere I know he was very high earlier and oh no I fell down again once again not too far I don't know why I keep failing this is exactly the same as so the jumps I had to do down here, it's just so much harder uh, because there's all of this pressure on me now. Because I'm so high up and uh, so close, uh, that just feels like there's a, a lot more pressure on me. But there we go. I got back up to here. Now let's try and do this jump. And there we go. This time I made it. So let's go. Yep, make sure all of these are, are flapped up. And uh, now I need to try and get on the trap door. There we go. This time I made it. I'm now uh, making my way up the, the trap doors. But oh no, I think I saw Lee Bear uh, really high up above me. So let's go and uh, flap these up. And I also need to edge this way a bit and uh, flap these ones up and now I need to try and jump from here to the other trap door like that oh just about made it was a little bit scary though this is um this is more difficult than it looks actually all right let's flap um oh no I need to flap all those ones up like this and uh, then I need to try and jump across like that there we go I was able to make that one as well I'm actually doing uh, okay at these trap doors but I know that Lee Bear uh, is a uh, quite a lot higher up uh, above me but uh, there are a, a few more difficult challenges uh, that he needs to do while he's uh, up there as well so uh, let's just focus on uh, me at the time. I think if I worry too much about what everyone else is doing, uh, then I'm going to have uh, too much on my mind and I'm going to start panicking. So let's go and uh, flap all of these ones up here like this. I think I've got two more lots of uh, uh, trapdoors. I need uh, to make my way. 
up. Uh, flapping up the trapdoors is the uh, the easy bit. It's just uh, jumping uh, from one uh, row of trapdoors to the the other one, uh, which is the uh, the difficult part. So let's go and try and jump across to this one here. Oop! It's so scary. It's such a scary leap. Look how high up I am. This is absolutely terrifying. My lovely world looks beautiful lit up at night like this, though. <laughs> I'm actually kind of just enjoying the views, right? I need to be careful uh, not to, to bang my head here. And there we go. I was able to, to jump my way across, and uh, I've now made my uh, way uh, to the bit where the, the bucket of water is. Uh, and oh, looks like Lee Bear is still not at the uh, the top of the, the tower yet. I am still uh, in with a, a bit of a chance. So now I need to, to keep placing this uh, this water. And then if I grab it again and place it again, I can kind of make my way up like this. It's uh, quite difficult to do. Uh, this is probably the uh, the hardest bit. And oh, don't fall down. Don't fall down now. That wouldn't be good. Right, I need to try if I can uh, to place it as uh, as far out here as I can and uh, try and move my way uh, across. Uh, let's try and get back into the, uh, the stream of water. I got it a little bit further out here. I need to get it even more further out though if I get it to about there. Oh, there we go. That was good. I nearly fell down, but I just about made it. And I then need to place it on the clock face like that. There we go. Once again, nearly fell down, but I just about made it up. And I now have the tricky part of trying to get over here. Can I place it on? Can I place it on? There we go. I was able to, to place it down there. And so now hopefully the, uh, yep, the water's trickled back down. This is now ridiculously scary. <laughs> and looks like Lee Bear's still high up. It's uh, uh, no, it's quite hard for him to, to fall down where he is. And I guess I can kind of climb up here a, a little bit uh, to save myself from needing to do the water. And uh, now I need to carry on uh, going up the inside of the the clock here uh, i guess if i just get over that yellow bit uh, then i should be uh, kind of on the 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 home stretch if i can place it on here oh no i didn't grab it i didn't grab the the water right, let's go and uh, go up a little bit higher again then i need to grab it and then place it on the outside oh no i wasn't able to, to quite do it though can i do it there now there we go i placed the water down i'm scared i'm just gonna fall the the whole way down there we go that is what i wanted to do i placed the water exactly where i needed it and look how scary this is now we are so high up oh look at it we've done it we've made it to the the top I can now swim up here and uh, now I'm on to the the same place as Lee Bear is you can see him on the the other side he is very close to the the top uh, but he's not on the the top yet uh, so now I need to try and uh, jump up these bars but it is actually really really tricky you can see uh, just how thin they are I think uh, Lee Bear's actually been stuck on this section uh, for for quite a while so he's probably had a, a bit more practice than me but oh look at that I made it I was able to, to make it now this one I need to fire an arrow out uh, so it boosts me up to the next level Oop, oh no I just dropped my sword instead right come on let's try and do this quickly and i jumped up there we go i was able to do it and now i need to climb up this door and yes i climbed up the door and then the last challenge is i need to extend this piston and jump up and i'm at the top and i've got the glowstone i need to place it on the top and there we go i was able to do it i put the glowstone on the the top of the tower and lee bear is here a second after me and oh it looks like um Looks like you had a, a little bit of a trouble there, Lee Bear. <laughs> Where's the ske oh, there's a skeleton down here somewhere? Um, I hope, hopefully it wasn't firing from all the way at the bottom because that would be a, a skeleton with a, a very good shot. Tell you, there was, I was going to say, tell you what, Lee Bear, you can add your glowstone down as well. <laughs> you did so well to get up here so unbelievably fast, but I was uh, uh, very lucky just uh, to get up here at the end. And look at this. Check out this view of my lovely world. This is the the viewing point. Well, actually, uh, slightly down here. If I break away this uh, this piston, uh, this is actually where the uh, the viewing point uh, for the the entire clock tower is going to be. So this is the uh, the tallest building uh, in my uh, entire lovely world and uh, the best place uh, to look over all of it. Uh, tell you what, though, Lee. Uh, seeing as uh, we both did so well, do you want to come and uh, join me? Uh, inside here for a, a nice cup of tea. And uh, Squashy, Stacy, uh, if you want to, to join us, uh, then you are more than welcome to. <laughs> we can all have a, a break from climbing up the outside of a clock for a second. That was intense, though. That was so nerve-wracking when we're climbing up there uh, at the uh, at the end. And uh, yeah. This is the uh, this is the the finished tea time shop. It's pretty much uh, the same as uh, it was in the the last episode. I think I uh, added a, a few more tables or made them a bit bigger. And uh, yeah, I've also uh, made all of the the different type of uh, of teas as well. So uh, tell you what, Lee, uh, I'm gonna have a uh, let me have uh, can I have a prickly tea, please, Lee? One prickly tea, please. Uh, so yeah, you can go and uh, uh, grab the the cactus from from there. Uh, these are all now actually filled in as well with all of the the ingredients that you uh, that you 
you need. Uh, again, well, do I just dunk this into my tea? And I guess if I just, I leave it there to brew for a little bit, Lee. <laughs> then I drink it in a little bit. And uh, we also got our, our kettle behind the the bar uh, where we can uh, brew the the tea. And uh, we got some iced tea and stuff as well, uh, depending uh, on what people uh, would like to drink. So uh, I think that this uh, uh, tea should have uh, brewed nicely now. I'm gonna go and uh, enjoy a nice sip of it. <laughs> Ah, absolutely delicious. And hello, Squishy. Welcome to uh, the Tea Time Cafe. Uh, feel free uh, to, to have whichever tea you'd like. Uh, there's some of the, the classic collection over here. Maybe some lovely world breakfast tea, Earl Grey, uh, some herbal tea or green tea. Uh, but these are where the, the fun ones are. Oh, Squishy wants a carrot tea. <laughs> a carrot tea, carrot tea. <laughs> That's what uh, Squishy would like. You can go and uh, have one of them. And uh, we also got a, a piano over here, which we can uh, kind of pretend to play. It doesn't uh, really work. <laughs> it's a shame because I thought that having the the windows here uh, would be a uh, really good for looking out over my lovely world But it's kind of hard to see anything you got to kind of jump up and down It's still a, a pretty nice view and I think I saw Stacy here. Hello Stacy uh, Feel free to, to have a, a cup of tea uh, We've got some lovely iced tea if you'd want some of that some mushroom tea flower power tea uh, Whatever different type of tea uh, you would like to, to drink uh, but sadly uh, we have uh, just about uh, run out of time in this episode here uh, So I am gonna be crowned the uh, the employee of the the month uh, of the uh, the tea time tea shop uh, as well as the uh, the tick top shop uh, but in the, the next episode, uh, we're going to be heading all the way over to my fun land uh, to start building a brand new mini game. So make sure you check in with the, the next episode uh, to see what that's going to be. Uh, but for now, I want to thank you all very much for watching and I will see you all later. Bye!